Happy Facebook Live time. I am Melissa Kerman with Melissa's Crafting Treehouse here for my weekly Facebook Live. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US and I'm, I'm a paper crafter. Been a paper crafter for uh, 17 plus years. <laughs> and uh, I come live every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to share fun projects and all the latest updates. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> I see people joining in. Um, so let's see. So yay, here we are. It's, it's Thursday and I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> Why is it Christmas in June, do you, you ask? Well, because I got uh, a lot of my new items from the catalog, so super excited. I did expedited shipping, so I got um, my things pretty quick. Hi, Pam. Hi, Chris. Um, so I have already started. Hi, Sally. Hi, Wendy. <laughs> Yay, people joining. Good to see you. Hi, Tina. Um, that's okay. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> Very good. So anyway, I'm super excited. I've been having so much fun. Um, uh, and, hi, Christy. <laughs> I have to stop saying hi or I'm never going to get a sentence finished. Um, so uh, yes, I've been having so much fun playing with the new things that I got and sorting through the products that I got for the product shares. Um, super excited to show you some of that new stuff today. So what I'm going to do a little bit different this time is um, going to do my announcements. I'm going to show the project and then I'm going to show you um, all my new stuff at the very, very end. Um, that way, those of you who don't necessarily want to stay for that can leave um, before then. So um, anyway, so a couple of announcements, mostly reminders this week. Um, I'm still uh, doing my new catalog challenge and giveaway that goes through next Wednesday the 17th. All you have to do to participate in that is um, take a picture of your beautiful mug, <laughs> that means your face, um, with your catalog and your wish list in hand. Um, your wish list needs to be Melissa's Crafting Treehouse wish list. Let me show you mine. Sneak back over here. So my catalog, my wish list, which is not here. <laughs> anyway, it has my logo at the top. <laughs> I have wish lists everywhere. Um, anyway, it has my, oh, my logo at the top and you post in my Facebook page, this Facebook page, in the post with my picture, with me and my catalog, so, uh, and my wish list. Um, I've had several people who have done that. Yay, it's been so fun to see people's faces in there. Some of you have never seen your faces, right? So it's a wonderful opportunity for me to sort of, you know, whatever, get to know you. Nothing like seeing um, somebody's face to get to know them a little bit. So uh, anyway, to, so far we have Laura Lee, who has, who has posted her photo, Laura Lee Falvey, Diane Knapp, I'm probably saying that wrong, <laughs> Kathleen Sorensen, Sharon Rowland, Andrea Frazier, Bev Wilkinson, and uh, Jolaine uh, Berry, who posted just today. So not tons of people, so there's lots of opportunity for you guys to win um, or to join and um, and up the odds a little. So anyway, the prize drawing is for a $20 stamp set in the new catalog. Um, I'm gonna draw that name on the 18th, so the day after the, it closes on the 17th. And also one of my new in-color bookmarks, which I haven't even designed yet, but as soon as I do, it'll go out with that free set. So um, anyway, play along, share your mug. <laughs> I wanna see your pretty faces, your handsome, wonderful, beautiful faces. <laughs> Um, okay, so what else? What else must I share? Okay, so there's a starter kit special going on right now. You know, you, I probably mentioned it last week. So you get a free bundle when you join. Um, joining is not a huge commitment. It's a $99 purchase. You get $125 of product that you get to pick. Um, free shipping. And then, of course, you get a bundle of your choosing of any value. So the maximum value is $60.25. So it's, it's awesome. It's a great time to join. Um, there's also a hostess special going on right now where when you host a party that's $250 in um, sales, you could, it could be your own purchase alone or a combined um, purchase of uh, you and your friends. Um, you get an extra $25 in rewards, so that means a minimum of $50 in hostess rewards, which is really, really awesome. So um, in addition, if you don't want to spend $250, I'm offering my 10 at 100 uh, annual catalog special offer, which is something I only do at this time of year. It goes through the 14th of June. Basically, you spend $100 and you get $15 of rewards. Normally, you have to spend $150 to get $15 of rewards. So, um, and then I'm also sweetening the pot with five additional gifts, including a free retired item from my, my store of things that have retired. Um, 
and some designer paper and cards and you know other things. It's all on my website if you want to know. Uh, and I have links in last week's Facebook Live description if you want to um, check out those links to all of this stuff I'm talking about. And I will include it in this post as well. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the description for the YouTube videos, video as well. And if you're joining in for the replay, yay, thanks for being here. <laughs> so, um, okay, so what else? What else? What else? Um, I think that's pretty much it for the annou announcements. Again, I'm going to show all my goodies at the very end. So without further ado, I'm going to face the camera down and show you what I've got today. I'm so excited. I've been playing with the um, Field Tiles dies. It has a stamp set that coordinates with it and I played with those as well, but uh, didn't actually design something that used both of them. But I will show you both of them uh, as soon as I face the, the camera down. Um, and then I'm also showing some of the some other new products like the brass foil paper and the rainbow glimmer paper. I'm going to be using those also. So uh, at a certain point, just FYI, kind of ignored who was joining in. <laughs> Didn't say hi because otherwise I never would have gotten through what I had to say. But um, I see more people here. So hi Kay, hi Catherine. And if I missed you, I will definitely check in later and say hello um, after the live is over. So I'm going to face the camera down. And uh, as I do that, I always like to tell you what's going on on my workspace <laughs> to the extent you can see, right? So over on that table and actually on the other table over there, is all the different product suites with their sweet products um, laid out, getting organized um, for me to sort and wrap ribbon and um, package up little cute embellishments. I've been doing it um, already. Um, and ever since we, you know, sort of the whole COVID-19 thing happened and everybody's home all the time, I've been hanging out in the evenings with my um, husband and daughter and uh, so instead of coming up here to do my thing, I, uh, I go downstairs and I've been sorting through product share stuff. <laughs> been counting things and sorting out things. Anyway, having a lot of fun. So I'm killing two birds of one stone, getting time with my family and getting to play with Stampin' Up! products at the same time. So here is the Field Tiles um, dies. And I've die cut them all out so you can see. I've used the um, Misty Moonlight, this gorgeous, gorgeous color against the black. And these are all the shapes in there in case you wanted to see them all done. And I'm going to grab the stamp set, which I have over here because I was using it. And now I need to find it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That'll come again because I, I really love this set as well. So. This is the Today's Tiles stamp set. Those two images lay one on top of the other. So I was playing with them um, the other day on my Stamparatus, just didn't actually finish a design. So these are the, this is the bundle that you can get. So anyway, super fun. This is one of the things I was the most excited about. Um, uh, oh, I see people commenting, but I'm missing parts of it. <laughs> anyway, yes, it is a lot of work to do the product shares without a doubt, but, um, the funny thing is, right, you know, I get to see and play and touch all these wonderful products, but I don't necessarily get all of them because if I end up with an even number, I don't necessarily buy a whole pack of something for me. So um, there are some where it's just like, oh, I have to get that pack. And then others where it's like, okay, well, I'll wait and see. <laughs> so uh, anyway, the project I have today, I've used, this is actually my single favorite die in the, in the set. It's this one right here. So I've die cut it using one of the new colors, the, um, oh, Magenta Madness. I realized that um, I just, I, I actually love this pink. You guys know I've said again and again I'm not a pink girl, but um, this is a pretty gorgeous die. So I'm going to show you several things that I did with this. Um, all kind of variations on a theme. So I have this actually already with some adhesive on the back. And I've put glue dots on there. And this is, I did this in a couple different ways, but I'm actually going to use two layers of glue dots and I've got them strategically placed. So I've got, you know, eight around the outside edges and then four in the center. The ones on the outside, I actually have two, two layers of glue dots on. And now I'm going to put a second layer on these middle four spots. And I do this because there is actually a little, you get a little height, just ever so little bit when you do this so that this gorgeous die is gonna set above 
the paper that's below it kind of casts a tiny, tiny little shadow, but it just gives it a little bit of a d dimension that I really think is pretty. Um, so let's see. So anyway, so now I've got two layers on there on my, um, my piece. And next I'm going to bring in a piece of rich razzleberry. Now, I have die cut uh, another one of the, these shapes in black, and it came out of this piece. Now, I didn't intentionally like try to create a frame, but it actually worked kind of perfectly to have the frame. So I'm going to use this frame for something strategic. So I'm going to place that down. You can notice the glue dots are facing up because I'm not ready to put it down yet. And then I'm going to put my little happenstance frame down there. Just hold it in place. And then I'm grabbing my Wink of Stella. Yeah, the, definitely for the adhesive sheets. You're, I agree, Sally. Good idea. I didn't end up doing it with any of these, but I, I should have. <laughs> but I'm also playing with some other stuff you'll see, which is very fun. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this in place, and I'm going to use my Wink of Stella and just color the whole thing. And I know that my Wink of Stella is going to be inside that outside edge of my of my die cut piece because I've got my um, my frame there telling me where to where to do it. Yeah, squeezing a lot there. It's going to be nice and sparkly on the inside. Okay, so that should be good. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my die down on top. Probably need to let it dry just one second. I'll blow on it. See the spot I didn't get. I think it probably dries pretty quick. We'll see. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so now I'm just going to put my die right down on top of it. And just now I have my shimmer and shine on the inside. And it is a little bit wet, so it's not wanting to stick. Lovely. It should have stick eventually. So there we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to give that a minute. Okay, I'm going to set that aside for a second. Now I've got a basic black card base, and I've done this one four and a quarter by 11 because I wanted it to fold the long way. And I'm also using this Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. Showed you guys this, and uh, I anticipated I'd want to use it a lot, and I guess what I am. <laughs> I love this. I love this embossing folder. And uh, so I've dry embossed a piece of the rich razzleberry, as you can see. I've got adhesive on the back. I'm going to go ahead and just attach this to the front of my card. This is actually a super simple card. Probably could make a whole bunch of them um, fairly quickly. And then I'm going to have a piece of black. It has dimensionals on the back side. I have some white dimensionals, some black. I've already taken the backings off. And that's just going to get centered right up here. And then I have the tiniest little strip of black, also has adhesive on the back side already. That's just going to be a nice little element on the bottom. This is kind of not a fussy card, although I do have that glimmer in there. It's not wanting to stick. Okay, we're just going to put it on there so you guys can see. Just like that. So super simple. I could put an embellishment in the center if I wanted to, but for a lot of these, I just really kept it. It's pretty simple. Um, am I using the new adhesive? No, I'm not yet using the adhesive. I really un I haven't even unpacked it yet. 
Um, I do have it to, to show, but I um, haven't managed to open the, the thing yet. <laughs> okay, so there's card number one. Of course, I'm using the magenta and the rich razzleberry. Really nice combination with the new in colors. Um, okay, so I've got one other that's also simple. That one's not totally st stuck together yet. And then I've got several that I've already finished. So for this one, I'm using the Bermuda Bay, the strip across the bottom, just same basic design. And I'm using some of this lovely new glimmer paper. Now this is just one very small piece of it. This glimmer paper has, oh, I don't know, five different colors on it. I'm gonna show you the colors in just a bit. Um, and I'm just gonna put some adhesive on there. So the other thing I did was I put together a sample of each one of the additional um, product shares, um, partly to show you, but really mostly because I need to um, know all the different sizes of cello bags that I need and the chipboard pieces and kind of get my packaging down. I have a very good friend, Jennifer, who is a framer, and she creates um, and cuts um, uh, mat board pieces for me, these beautiful mat board pieces that have, um, well, they're just, they're beautiful on the backs, on the back side, but I put them in with card kits when I send them, I put them in with product shares, so I have to know the numbers so that I can send those to her. Um, so now this one's going to be on dimensionals too. I think I meant to do that off camera and forgot. But the reason why I wanted to show you this one is because I've done the same thing on the back with my um, two layers of glue dots. But when you're using this kind of paper, you really need to add a little bit of something like multipurpose liquid glue so that it uh, sort of gets into the grooves of the glimmer paper. So I'm just going to put a tiny little dab of the glue on each of the glue dots and just show you what this card is going to look like. It'll take a few minutes to dry. I love, love the black. I'll put dimensionals on the back side of that other black layer off camera. I take photos to show you guys, but isn't that pretty? How can you go wrong with that dye, right? It's just so gorgeous. I love it. And then what do you guys think? Has anybody else out there who's a demonstrator or a customer gotten this yet? <laughs> Have you played with it yet? Okay, so there's project number two. And now I want to show you something else. I'm going to bring in my big shot. Another way to use these dies. I'm going to grab my favorite die. And I'm going to take this piece of, um, this is Blackberry Bliss, and I'm going to die cut it. Now, this die fits perfectly on a three by three piece. I'm glad you like it, Sharon. <laughs> let's see. What, what die is it, please? Yes, let's see. It's the um, Field Tiles dies. So this is the full set. Anybody who has come in late. And it coordinates with the Today's Tiles stamp set. You can see that. Um, All righty, so we're going to go ahead and die cut this. I've got it centered on there. And I like to put it at an angle, because if I do the straight edge, it makes a lot of racket when, it, when you go through. I need a top, top cutting pad. Yep. Okay. So you're out there going, isn't this backwards? She already die cut the other ones. Why is she die cutting this one? Well, there's a reason. And I'm going to tell you the reason. All right. So what I'm going to do next, some of you guys might have seen this. <coughs> I'm going to carefully remove the die. Most of the times that I've done this, this is actually just come off without a hitch and all the pieces stay on there 
And I have this lovely little outline edge, right? So this is, it was a three by three piece and I centered it on here and I've got this just beautiful, delicate little element that I, I've already played with some of these before. I, it was just a great little happenstance thing. So I'm gonna take a piece of my press and seal. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this and press it down onto my piece. And then I can start playing with some of these little pieces and elements. Now, I don't know if you guys, anybody has a take your pick tool, right? It's got several sides to it. This, this tool right here is like a t putty, so it's sticky. You could pick up little pieces with it, right? But the other side has two sides to it. So there's this sort of, I don't know what you call that, a knife, a spatula, crafting spatula. <laughs> um, but on the other side, it's got that little locking element there, is your paper piercing tool. Super handy there. Today, I'm gonna use this end. Um, is that out of focus? Yeah, there we go. Um, for this next thing I'm gonna do. So this is basically kind of stuck to my cutting pad. So um, I'm going to sort of gently sort of pry it off of here with the goal of keeping all those pieces on my press and seal. And there's a lot of little pieces in there. Some of them will move around like that one just did. Uh, I expect some of them are gonna fall out, but I'm trying to just keep them right onto, on the press and seal. Those little itty bitty dots in there are the ones that wanna come out more than anything else. And as I sort of lift it up, I'm also pressing it back down again in the hopes that the Press and seal sticks to the paper. Okay, so now I've lifted it up. I've got one piece that's wanting to stick on the cutting pad. Lift that up. There we go. And then there's another piece over here that just came out of its little slot, but we won't worry about that right now. So now I can do a bunch of different things to play with this piece right here. So I'm going to show you some of what I've played with. Got another one done with the rich razzleberry. And got some other pieces over here. So I've done one in the pink. This is the pink inside pieces that I used to create this one. And I've got this piece of uh, a black one that's mounted just on a piece of white. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with using some of these die cut pieces in my my black piece. And I'll just I'm just going to do a little bit of this. So I'm going to take my liquid glue, put some on the center pieces because that's what I want to come out first. And then I'm just going to turn it over, and like a puzzle, I'm going to place it right in there. Now I could have put dimensionals on these if I'd wanted to, but I kind of just wanted it to be recessed in. And I might need my tool to lift this up carefully and make sure that they're staying down as I lift this up. And the more I can keep the pieces on the press and seal, staying on the press and seal in place, the more I can play with putting them, inlaying them into something else. So there's my first piece put into that. Now I could play with some of these other pieces, um, and I have done that. So on another one, so I'm going to show you the other one. I, I was thinking on this one. I would play around with um, the rich razzleberry, maybe in the inlays here, some of the blackberry bliss in there. Um, let's see, what do we have time for? <laughs> do we have time for one more thing? Um, let's just try to do the um, element. 
creating live. I love these colors together. What do you guys think? You guys like these pinks and purples? Uh, yes, white, black, and magenta. It's so pretty, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use these uh, outside elements. I'm going to do the going to do the same thing I just did with these with razzle elements. Now I have done them on some where I've actually put glue onto the tiny little dots and it worked out just fine. This is not the kind of thing that's like expected to be quick or anything. It's a little bit slow and methodical. Now the tricky part of this, right, is that I can't see because I haven't taken the outside piece off. How am I going to do that? Oh, I set myself up. <laughs> That's not a good idea. Because who knows if it's going to be lined up or not. Oh, no. Do I keep doing it? No, I think I'm not going to. So you essentially have to take that outside edge off so you see the little pieces that are in there before you can, you know, see where they go. So I can try to take this outside piece off. Let's take just a minute to try doing that. The trick is keeping all the other pieces in place. I think I meant to do this ahead of time. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys kind of get the idea of this. It's really just a lot of fun to piece things together and come up with. Okay, I think that's going to take a little too long. Let me show you what I've actually finished because I did this with some other pieces. I'll probably have to finish that off off camera to show you. So I've done the same thing with pieces from my, um, this is the Misty Moonlight and uh, Seaside Spray and then the black. So you can see what I did there. I put the center elements on dimensionals. You can see it's popped up and then did what I was showing you there, but just one piece at a time, putting glue on the back sides of all the black pieces and then pressing them in. Did the same with the, all these other elements here. So it took a little bit of time, but I think it's awfully pretty. I don't know about you guys, but, and I think this one, once I take the time to put those uh, Rich Razzleberry and possibly Blackberry Bliss elements in there, that's gonna look really pretty too. So I'll show you a couple of other things that I finished. You can see I've got, these little outside outline pieces and um, I was thinking this would look really pretty with that outline edge or with that one layered on something else so many creative possibilities just love it <laughs> I'm totally addicted to this craft I don't know about you guys but I you know I just I can't stop myself <laughs> it's hard to get any work done <laughs> so um, let me show you the other things I made so here is a simple version, also with the same color scheme, but not with all the crazy inlays, but I used the same embossing folder in the back, Seaside Spray and the Misty, uh, the, what is it, Moon, Misty Moonlight. I had that just a minute ago. So there's that one. And then I also did one with my, this is um, Mint Macaron and the Just Jade. And on this one, I don't know if you can see, but I did the Wink of Stella just on the inside cross element. This die looks so regal to me. I love things that sort of have a regal sort of look to them. So there's that one. And then, saving the best for last. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not the best. These are all great, I think they're awesome. I had so much fun with these. So this one is made with the copper foil and black. One of my favorite color schemes is this black and soft suede and copper. Now on this one, I actually 
attached it flat with um, just with the glue. So I'm doing putting it at an angle so you guys can see. It's totally flat against that surface. I know it's um, reflective, so hopefully that's not um, producing problems in your eyes. But um, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but like this is a little bit raised up, and it's because of those two layers of glue dots that I have under there, whereas this one is flush up against the the black against the copper and this the blue against the seaside spray so those ones and then last but not least this one is I don't know if you guys can tell what it looks like but this is the brass foil paper um, and it is it is so shiny it's like a mirror I'm telling you guys hard to photograph I got photographs of this one already this one is also raised up on dimensional some of the, the photographs came out well I had to play with it a bit but um, this is uh, so saffron in the background with the with the uh, brass foil same embossing folder and same layout but just oh my gosh I couldn't stop myself from playing. I'm telling you, like, how many have, how many can I make of this? You know, same layout. <laughs> Wasn't getting tired of it at all. In fact, it was sitting in my workspace. I was getting so distracted, trying to do other work. It's like, I can't stop playing. Does that happen to you guys? <laughs> well, answer. Let me know. Are you are you as crazed as I am on this creative stuff? Just makes me nuts. So anyway, I got more things to play and make to finish up, but I'm going to switch gears here. I'm going to just do some the quick reminders, and then we're going to go to just looking at the products that I've gotten uh, since last week. Grab something over here. Hold on. So I want you to comment and uh, let me know as I set up for this next thing. What's your favorite one? Do you like the blues, the greens, the pinks, pinks and purples? Do you like this Bermuda Bay one? What's your favorite one? And are you going to play with it? I want to know. <laughs> All right. So the quick reminders while I let you look at that and stew and tell me what your favorite is. Um, you guys know there's the Hostess Special. Get an extra 25 in Hostess Rewards. The Starter Kit Special with a free bundle. Um, my new catalog special offer uh, ends on the 14th, so that's just three days away. So anybody can join in between now and the 14th, and then on the 15th I'll be ordering Hostess Rewards. Oh, yay, people are telling me what they like, their favorites, their favorites. You know what, you guys will love the brass when you see my photographs on my website. Nobody's saying brass. You can't really see it with the light shining on it. It's, it's um, really hard to tell. But, oh, I love it. You guys are all saying what your favorites are. Yay. <laughs> so much fun. Um, okay. Let's see what else for reminders. Um, yes, yeah, so don't forget. And Oh, and the new catalog challenge, the challenge and giveaway goes through the 17th again. So make sure to take a picture of yourself and share it. Um, on my Facebook page, on the post with my mug on it, also with my photograph, also. Um, and, uh, you know, I hate to, you know, minimize the chances for those that have already participated, but I do want lots of people to play along. So, um, to join in, the odds are really good, especially now. So, alrighty. So, I'm gonna grab my bucket of goodies. I'm gonna leave those, this stuff where they are, but I'm going to switch the camera back. Okay, what? Ah, yes. Well, you guys definitely, I don't know, do you guys check out my, my blog on the day after? I usually manage to go live by 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Last week I was much later than that. But um, I hope you do because when I take pictures and you see still pictures, it's quite a bit different from, you know, from seeing them quickly on the camera, um, on the video. So, um, okay, let's switch around and... Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to do that first. <laughs> I feel like I'm on top of the camera when I switch it before I get it situated. Okay, let's see how that is. Yay, I'm back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, so, so, and I'm just, I'm, I don't mean to guilt trip you or anything, but you guys get to see my face. I want to see yours. <laughs> Take a photograph, share it with me, like Sharon. <laughs> 
I want to see your face. Okay, so you guys ready for new stuff? This is so fun. Okay, so one of the things I absolutely knew I needed in the catalog was this seabed embossing folder. And um, where did I put the folder itself? Don't know where I put the folder itself, but I did uh, emboss it. Uh, can you see it right there? It's just so delicate and pretty. Like, I don't have a big thing for the sea, but it's just a beautiful texture and pattern. Um, I also played around with some ink on my embossing folder, but decided I should save that for another day. It might be here all day long. Okay, so, and uh, that one goes with the Whale of a Time um, suite. Okay, so the next thing up, I didn't have this um, paper. This is the Flowers for Every Season paper. So let's go. I'm just going to quickly scan, run through these. It's just beautiful paper. Now, this is one of the products where the share ended up being even. So I'm sad because I don't get any of this. Do I look sad? <laughs> I can get some if I want, but, you know, just we'll see. I'm going to play with what I got and then go from there because there are some of the papers that I have gotten. Aren't these beautiful? Now, this is designed, this paper is designed so that it's for every season, right? It's called Flowers for Every Season. Sweet. Am I going too fast? I hope not. So that's the first 12. This is the, the 6 by 6 paper gives you all these different patterns. So there's actually 24 patterns all together. Um, so you got the sort of fall colors with the daisies and the yellows, and then this really pretty pinks and spring colors. Is that upside down? Yes, it is. Let's see. Um, yeah, these are all the sort of simpler patterns. I love that one. <laughs> I already showed that one. So there's nothing like seeing these, um, you know, seeing the whole real thing, you know. You see these tiny little thumbnails on the um, website or in the, you know, on, in the catalog. It's just uh, hard to really tell. So uh, chime in and tell me what your favorites are as I go through these. Okay, now here is, hopefully I'm not going to blind you. <laughs> this is the brass foil paper. See, look, you get a reflection of uh, the other side. It's so shiny and reflective. Um, again, tried to take a picture of this, and it was almost ridiculous to try to get a picture. Okay. Next up, I got this. This is going to be interesting to play with. Tried to play with it a little bit today. Have you guys noticed this set? It's called the Right Triangle. And I think I need to switch my... See if I can flip me a little bit so that... I don't know where it happened there. Um, I want to flip it so that it's actually going the right way. Where is that little control thing? <laughs> Dang it. I don't know where it is. I'm not going to spend any more time on it. You guys get the idea. So anyway, there's really pretty uh, patterns and shapes in there. Anyway, the, the triangles are going to be interesting to play with. I was playing with them a little bit today. And then there's coordinating dies as well. I don't know why I was enamored with this, but I am. I like, I like um, shapes. Okay, and these are, I got the, the stamp and seal and the Stamp and Seal Plus. Looking forward to having some nice, strong adhesives. Um, okay, I showed you the Flowers for Every Season designer paper, and this is the product share, which I think I showed you, but you know, the designer paper is hidden in there. And of course, you can't get my product shares anymore because they ended on the third, or on the fourth, the fourth of June. But um, if you missed out and you're interested in being notified when I do them next time, which actually next time is coming soon, um, just let me know and I'll make sure to add you to the notification list. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do with that set. Yeah, me either. <laughs> we'll see and it will be fun to show. So this is the Playful Pets Suite. And I only show this because it's just fun to see the products that coordinate. Um, and of course, you have to look at the stamp set, but it's got these adorable little embellishments there. The bone and heart. I was um, sorting these with my daughter the other day. She even thought they were cute. So, little dogs. Now, I've got some of this designer paper to just show you. Now, um, I'm not like a big animal person, but it's still pretty cute. So there's the, you know, anybody who loves animals, cats and dogs especially, this is like very fun, cool paper. Quilt block design. Hmm, that sounds fun. 
cool. So there's that one side, and these are the more neutral sides. I'll show you those. And this says, um, you know, purr, meow, what else? Snooze. <laughs> well, like animal related things, I guess. Another one, wag, scratch, you know, interesting stuff. It's very playful paper. Playful, fun paper. Now, I do have some of this to play with, and this, honestly, is going to be a challenge for me. <laughs> it's not my go-to sort of thing, but we'll see what happens, you know. I felt the same way about the Birthday Bonanza um, uh, designer paper, but I came up with some fun things to do with that, and I really liked them as well. Um, this is the Ornate Garden Suite. I showed you part of it, but I didn't have that ribbon. I finally, finally, finally got the ribbon that was on back order, so that's that. This is the Peony Garden Chair, which has these lovely doilies and these um, wonderful faceted, what are they called? Elegant faceted gems. They're beautiful colors and they are actually really delicate, delicate facets. Can you see? It's, they're very pretty. I really think they're beautiful. And then this, um, this I think it's basic gray is the color. Um, shimmer ribbon. It's, it's beautiful ribbon. Okay, so a closer look at the designer paper. <laughs> okay, so here's this one. This is very delicate, elegant, you know, beautiful floral prints. Um, I'm sure they were thinking of this relative to weddings and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, beautiful um, designs. Simple. And then this is actually one of my favorites, which is going to sound funny to you, but it looks like uh, Carrera marble. Isn't that pretty? I actually have some... It looks like Carrera Marble in my bathroom up here on the, in my tree house that has blue veins in it. It's really, really fun. I love granite. There's another one. Pretty neutral patterns. There we go. And this one I actually have some of, so I'll get to play with this. Now this one... This next one, um, this is the Playing With Pattern Suite. So it comes with these, um, uh, what is it, little mini um, paper pumpkin boxes, adorable boxes that I think are designed to fit cards. So that'll be fun to play with. And then the designer paper, the um, embellishments, those are resin dots that coordinate. And then this trio of ribbons that goes in this suite. Beautiful color palette, so fun. So let's look at the paper. Today I realized that I didn't order any extra. I have an even amount, so I don't get any of this, and I might just have to have some of it because it's really fun. This is probably one of my favorite patterns. I'm a rainbow girl, how about you guys? <laughs> Love it. This is very fun paper. So again, this is the playing with patterns. Designer paper. That's a fun one. Now, I, I like to point out, and this actually is the one that made me think of it, that I would never think of putting those colors together, but don't they look pretty? I think they're so pretty, and um, I love to rely on the designer papers to come up with color schemes. So what colors go together? Sometimes there are things I just would never put together, and they look really, really good together. So something to think about. Okay, backside. So that was the first 12. There's the, all the backsides. Hi, Roseanne. <laughs> nice to see you here. Just happened to look up at the camera. Comments. So almost at the end of this one. And there we go. So that's it for the playing with patterns. Get ready for the next one. This is oh, the last two. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. Okay, so I just, it's been killing me that I haven't been able to get these products in hand. So I'm so excited to have them and to get to show them. Now this is the Whale of a Time um, share that's what comes in it with the sequins and the, this ribbon now this is like an organdy ribbon 
Um, and it's very pretty. It's pool party organdy ribbon. And this paper is just really fun. I get some of this, <laughs> so I'm excited about that. Look at those cute little turtles. I just love them. They're so colorful. I love this color palette. This is definitely one I'm going to be going to and, and looking at combinations, color combinations for. Look at that under the sea theme. I, I pretty much love all of these patterns. They're so fun. Cute little whale. So this um, suite has a stamp set and a punch that goes with it. And the punch is the shape of that whale. Um, the images in this set are really cute. I'm very tempted. <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet, but I am very tempted. So there's the whale. Oh, you've seen some pretty cards with the whale. I, oh, the, with the designer paper. Yeah, I'm sure. I just love it. It's so fun. Very playful, colorful, um, but not necessarily kid-like either, right? It's just really pretty and perfect going into summer, right? Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Looks like an ocean. Didn't even notice that one the first time I looked. Wow, so pretty. You know what? I just realized I haven't even studied these papers, so I'm kind of doing it with you. <laughs> I went in and I picked the, uh, the top sheet, the one that I wanted to show on the top of the share, but I haven't really looked at them. So I'm going to have to really look at these more closely when, I, when I'm off the live. So pretty. Just, I mean, you can't go wrong, right? So much fun. Look at that one. I love all that detail in there. I love the aquarium. Anybody else love the aquarium? This makes me think of the aquarium. My arm's getting tired holding this <laughs> Yes, such fun paper. So as you notice, I have these perfect size cellos in my chipboard in the back that my Je Jennifer, my Jennifer, <laughs> my friend Jennifer makes for me, cuts for me. Um, it's uh, another one. People always ask me, what's that beautiful piece of chipboard in the back? Am I supposed to do something with it? And it's like, well, you could do something with it, but it's really in there just to protect your your project kit, your card kit, or your product share. Um, I actually told somebody today she could mail them back to me if she wanted to, if she accumulates a bunch, because I'd reuse them for sure. Anyway, they're nice and stiff, really, really perfect and beautiful. All different colors on the back. Anyway, I digress. So this is the Artistry Blooms Suite. So it's got the Glimmer Paper, which I'm going to show you the whole sheet of. It's so gorgeous. You saw just a tiny little piece of it on the card. And then these adhesive back sequins. Yes, I had to cut those sheets in half in a creative way to get it all to fit and uh, it be half and half. And then, of course, the designer paper on the top. So let's take a look at this beautiful designer paper. Designer paper and glimmer ribbon. I mean, sorry, glimmer paper. <laughs> so this is the color palette right here. I've cut some, got some piece of cardstock to show you guys. That's the color palette. So Granny Apple Green, um, that's Bermuda Bay. The next one is um, Blackberry Bliss. The pink, of course, is the Magenta, the um, Magenta Madness. And then the last color is um, Mango Melody. So it's just a super fun color scheme. Talk about a color scheme to play with. It's just so pretty. All right, so I'm going to save the glimmer paper for last on this one because it's just adorable. I mean, just beautiful. Okay, so start with that one. So this, of course, is 12 by 12 paper. So showing you the simpler back sides. Well, there, I guess it's all pretty simple. Um, that's a little bit crazy. That one's kind of crazy, too, at least to my eyes. <laughs> I like all the other ones except maybe that. Now this I just absolutely adore. Check that out. That is like, I just want to kiss it. <laughs> I love it so much. I just love that so much. Okay, and this one too. Those purples and pinks. Love that. The greens and yellows. Anybody who loves the rainbow like me? This madness. Um, and then that's a little bit more subtle. That one's gorgeous too. And these are sort of the full sheet. It's kind of a mirror image. So if you can visualize the other half of this, it's kind of the light on this side. So I cut it so that everybody would get um, all the colors that were included in that piece of 12 by 12 paper. So, and there's the last one. Just scrumptious, wouldn't you say? 
scrumptious. <laughs> okay, get ready for the glimmer paper. This is crazy paper. Oh my gosh, check that out. So when I showed you, the card that I showed you today just had a little segment of this at the bottom. And then, but I just love how the colors blend into, it's like a whole rainbow. Just the best thing ever. And that paper, I was almost like hyperventilating. I was like, did I buy some of that for me? I hope I did. <laughs> sure enough, I got one full sheet. I'll probably be buying more, but I got a little bit to play with. Okay, and I think this is last but not least. Um, I don't know if anybody of you guys noticed this velveteen paper. So there's three sheets in a pack, one each of three colors. And there aren't even colors listed, but you probably can't appreciate the full beauty of this, but it's, it's literally like a, like a velvet. And um, this color is sort of a rusty, rusty brown maybe, but it, it just feels really good, this paper. This is another one, this, uh, the color, I don't know how well it's coming through. It looks to me a little bit like, um, what is it? The soft sea foam, that sort of pale green, very pretty. And this last one is probably like a Highland Heather. Of course, gotta save the purple for last. <laughs> I love my purples. I'm a purple girl. So I think, I think that is it in my bucket, my very large bucket of fun. Christmas, <laughs> it feels like Christmas. Now you guys know why it feels like Christmas today. Because I've got all these lovely, beautiful new things to to play with, whether it's just playing to cut it up for all you guys or playing with it myself. It's like a feast of fun. <laughs> so I've been having fun and I'm gonna keep having fun. Now today, for those of you who are waiting to find out what my June Technique class is, finally managed to swing a little creative time today to play around with some ideas of what we're gonna do. Didn't quite exactly pin it down, but it's, uh, it's in the brew. So just so you know, that's coming. Um, and I'll be, you know, it'll be something fun for sure, as you know. Um, let's see, on the velvet paper, use multi-purpose liquid glue. Yes, I think so, absolutely. Um, it's, yeah, perfect, perfect suggestion, Nancy. <laughs> um, I don't think any other adhesives are gonna stick to that, that um, velveteen paper, so. Anyway, I will so look forward to looking at all your comments because um, they were, you know, just all running by. I don't think I caught very many of them. See what your favorite colors are and your favorite products and make sure to check back on my blog tomorrow um, sometime after three to see photographs of all these lovely projects, uh, variations that I showed you today. And I will probably not be able to help myself but finish up the ones that I started. <laughs> that I didn't finish on camera. Um, so there might be some new additional designs in there too. Um, and so I guess next next week, next Facebook Live will be the 18th um, of June. And um, more fun stuff to share then. So thank you so much for joining today with your live or on the replay. And um, I'll look forward to saying hi on Facebook and maybe seeing your picture if you participate in the new catalog challenge and giveaway. So share your, share your photograph with me. I would love to see your face. Um, thank you so much for joining in today. And if you missed, if you came in late, start at the beginning and check it out. See it, see it again. <laughs> see what you missed. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. <laughs> Love those little hands. It's cute. <laughs>